Hi children, welcome to the another session of your social class. Today we are going to, I am going to teach you the 12th, 20th video. Are you watching the videos children? Every day? Already 20 videos are over and uh, we have completed almost 3 lessons. 3 lessons we have completed. You have to watch very very carefully children. Otherwise you will not get good knowledge during this pandemic. So every day watch the videos. Now today what is our topic? I wanted to bring all the topic, the whole topic of this uh, India its water resources in this uh, only one particular video. So watch it carefully, right? Now what is that India its water resources? What are the water resources? What, what do we use it for water? We use water for drinking, uh, cooking, bathing and harvesting and washing clothes and uh, for all these purposes we are using the water. Right or not? Yes. So though we have 71% of the land is covered with the water only, 29% only. Uh, only uh, is the land, 29% only is land, remaining 71% is covered with the water. So we have so many water sources, what are, the, what are those water sources, oceans, seas, rivers, ponds, lakes, these are all our water resources. Uh, and uh, what is the difference between a uh, ocean and a sea? You will have a confusion. What is water, uh, ocean and what is a sea? Both are same children. But the place where it near, closer to a continent. We have how many continents? Seven continents. The place which is closer to a continent, it is called a sea. And moreover, this ocean is deep, very deep and whereas this sea is shallow that means less deep and it is which is very closer to the continent is called a sea. Okay, so we have water resources like this rivers, ponds, lakes, oceans and seas but even though we have so many water resources we have shortage of drinking water. Why we are getting drinking water shortage? Because uh, this ocean and uh, seas are uh, occupied in a large area of land even though we got shortage of water because the water is salty. Water in the ocean and cities, seas is salty water we are getting. Can we drink salt water children? No, we cannot drink salt water and we cannot eat, use it for anything, for not cooking and not for irrigation also, we cannot use this salt water, right? And only for making salt only this salt water uses, right children? That is why that though we have large area of land is covered with oceans and seas, we have a shortage of water. That is one reason. The another reason is India. Rain water is the main source of water. Because of the rains only, this land, this ponds, rivers, lakes will fill with the water. But in India, we have only two or three months we are hardly getting rains. And in some areas like Rajasthan, there will be no rains at all. So that is why the area is full of desert area. That is why the crops will not grow over there. Right? So, hardly we are getting only 2 or 3 months rains. That is why the shortage of water, the, we cannot get sufficient water for drinking the whole year. The another one is, during this monsoon seasons, during this rains, rainy seasons, all over the uh, places, what, uh, rains falls. Mostly, the rains falls on the mountains, the water, where the water will go, because the wall, the uh, mountains are slope. So whatever the water falls on it, it will comes and mixes in the rivers. Ultimately, in the previous video, what did I say? All the rivers which are flowing on the land, ultimately they go and fall in the seas or oceans, right? So that is why this water, the, the because of this uh, water, the floods comes, that means water, with the muddy water, right? This is the season, July, August months, so completely the rivers will rivers will full of water with floods that is called the overflow of the water and color also with mud water it is called the floods so during because of this flood what 
water what happens the rivers overflow and directly ultimately they go on falling into the seas there is no use though we have getting a lot of water this water is flowing and falling into the seas or oceans that is why we one more reason is shortage of water is that one only and not only that another one is shortage of i mean uh, uh, this one distribution of water distribution of water means the water resources we have on the land what oceans seas rivers ponds lakes these are not distributed on the land equally that means what in somewhere rivers are there in somewhere ponds are there in somewhere lakes are there in somewhere oceans are there like that these are all are in on all the earth the water is not distributed equally that is why the place where the rivers are there the people who are living near the rivers are getting water the people who are not living near the rivers or ponds or lakes whoever they have to go miles and miles to get the water for drinking water for a pot of water they have to walk for miles and miles right children because these uh, water resources are not distributed equally on the land and uh, some people near the river who are living they dig the dug the wells and they draw water from the wells and in some areas some pumps out the water from the wells and one one more thing is river water river water is very precious and river water uh, is good for drinking and uh, uh, for irrigation also we can use the river water and uh, the people who supplies this water they keep in the uh, in the process of they clean the water and uh, they supplies through the taps and this water we can drink and we can use it for the irrigation purpose also and the another one is wells and tube wells these tube wells are wells which are installed to the tube wells these these run on electricity or a diesel tube wells are wells in which are uh, which pumps are installed for these tube wells pumps are installed these pumps work these pumps work uh, are run with the electricity or diesel and these pumps mostly we use commonly in the agricultural purposes we are using this because they need these pumps tube wells are very very huge with with the tube wells the water comes very forcefully they come and very in a, at a time a large amount of water we can come uh, um, we can get and uh, this uh, under the ground also we are getting some water and not only on the the water resource not only on the surface of the water underground also we are getting water uh, we are getting this water level is called underground water which we are getting that level of underground water is called also water table what we call water table we call the water which we are getting from the ground under the surface under the surface of the water the level of that water we, we call it water table and uh, hand pumps are worked by hand to draw water from deep inside the earth hand pumps to the deep inside the earth hand pumps are installed and uh, we can hand with the hand we can pump the water from deep inside the earth also like that canals and the dams what are these canals and dams small channels are constructed small channels are constructed to take water from rivers and send it into the fields these these channels are called canals these canals take the water from the people who are living very far from the rivers the, through these canals water will be supplied who will supply this government only has to supply and uh, in our india rajasthan rajasthan is a dry area there desert is there there will be no rain rainfall and uh, no monsoon season monsoon season also hardly it rains there will be no rains at all but how the people will live without water drinking and harvesting without uh, doing that how the people are living in the rajasthan that is why the government has constructed one canal that canal name is indira gandhi canal 
what it is called indira gandhi canal where it is constructed on the satluj river on the satluj river one canal they constructed the government has constructed the canal and uh, this canal will take the water through the canals uh, north west areas of rajasthan north west area what is there thar desert is there the people who are living near the thar desert they will get water from the indira gandhi canal which is built on the satluj river okay this indira gandhi canal is where it is located it is located in rajasthan state children and uh, come to the dams what are these dams dams are walls built across the river to hold back the water from flow from flowing they hold back the water these dams ultimately i told you many times that all the water from the rivers go and fall in the oceans so if you, if they go and fall in the oceans what will happen with this water shortage we will get this water shortage for not doing that what will happen what these government people has done these people have constructed one wall wall means this is not a small wall it is very 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 huge very very big wall across the river this wall is called a dam and these dams these dams will have gates called sluice gates okay this sluice through this sluice gates what will happen this sluice gates can open or close to control the speed of the water to control the flow of the water if the water the, they want a water to this side so they will open the gates and through this water what will happen down near the gates of the foot hills of the uh, these sluice gates turbans are there turbans means wheels this water comes very fast through very fastly they come and fall on this turban so this turban will rotate by falling water on this so so what happens when it is rotating like that electricity generated electricity the power current will generate through this water so this water they are generating this what we are getting electricity through this water that is why it is called the hydro electricity hydro means what hydro means water hydro means water so this we are getting this electricity through the water that is why it is called hydro electricity in this way these dams are useful in many ways they are giving water to the fields uh, and uh, they are generating electricity so in this way they have so many uses of this water that is why uh, 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 of the dams that is why these dams are called multi purpose projects what are these called these dams are called multi purpose project that is why so these uh, government people have constructed many dams in any uh, in any uh, Uh, all other every state uh, they have constructed where the rivers are flowing there these dams are constructed so some of the dams i am giving you here what are those dams children bakranangal dam on the satluj river in punjab in the punjab state punjab state satluj river is there in many uh, states the the river in the punjab satluj there they constructed one bakranangal dam the another one is farakka barrage farakka barrage is built on ganga river which is located in the west bengal the another one is nagarjuna sagar dam we have very near by so nagarjuna sagar dam is constructed on krishna river which is located in andhra pradesh in our in our state okay now sardar sarovar dam this sardar sarovar dam built on narmada river on in gujarat the another one is damodar valley project so this dam is constructed constructed on damodar river which is in west bengal the another one is hiragud dam hiragud dam is built on mahanadi which is located in odisha so these are the dams constructed to uh, to give the water to the 
fields. So, next one is water conservation. So, how we have to preserve the water? Water is very, very precious, children. It is not a precious, it is a precious of the pronunciation. Please follow the pronunciation. It is precious. Water is very, very precious. And uh, some of the people, they wash, they, they clean the animals, uh, they do uh, very nonsense things to, with the water. So, we should not do like that. We should not throw garbage and industrial waste into the, and clothes, we should not wash clothes and we should not take bath, we should not take bath and we should not give bath to the animals in the rivers, ponds and lakes. Because what happens, these rivers if you do like that, that water will get polluted. And this pollution water, ultimately all the rivers will go where? In the seas and oceans. So when these polluted water go and fall in the ocean or sea, they, the marine life, marine life is getting in danger. What is this marine life? The animals which are living in the ocean and seas are called marine life. Marine means related to the ocean and seas. So all this polluted water go and fall in the oceans and seas and that water will get polluted. Ultimately these fish, whatever the things, the living things which we eat nicely, very tastily, these all will get affected and they will die ultimately one day. And another one is not only that, before falling that into the um, uh, oceans and seas, we also will drink that water. What the water comes from the rivers and ponds and lakes, we also drink. And uh, if we drink the polluted water, what will happen? The diseases like cholera, dysentery, like that, so many diseases, motions, uh, and uh, so many diseases we will get if we drink uh, uh, polluted water. That is why now also in our Kakinada also we are getting what we are buying the drinking water in a tin, correct or not? The tin water is a uh, very clean water. Coming from the taps, the municipality people will give us, they clean the water and they will send through the taps. That morning, morning we are filling the water. If we don't have that facility, so we are buying the water through the tins also. Why? Because in our house also water is there, but we are not drinking that water. If we drink that water, we will get cholera like now corona. What is the effect of corona? Like that cholera is also very dangerous and uh, motions to vomitings and ultimately the people also in the olden days when cholera comes what happens during the floods time this cholera will come means this season is very very dangerous rainy season uh, the if we don't keep our environmental clean this cholera disease will come and the olden days nowadays the, uh, the uh, medicines have come but in the olden days the people used to die because of this cholera, because of no awareness of the health conditions, right? So, so we should not pollute this water. So, in that way, we have to uh, we have to keep clean. We should keep efforts to clean, keep the water clean. And uh, the other one is the rainwater harvesting. What is this rainwater harvesting? And it is good for method of saving rainwater. It is good method of rain water. You see, rain comes and falls and go into the drainages, and these drainages will go and uh, uh, mix in the other uh, rivers. They and ultimately these water also go and fall in the oceans only. So in that way, the rain water is wasting. So for not wasting that, how to hold this rain water? How to hold this rain water? Rain water can be hold like this? No. That is why what in the people, uh, people of uh, Rajasthan, how they build the houses, you know, they build the houses like us only, but uh, they, we keep the coal to go away, whatever the water is uh, um, storing on our roof, that is water is coming, we will keep one uh, uh, tap like, a, like uh, one tube, that water will go out and fall in the uh, dryness. But the people in the Rajasthan in and some other areas, what they will do, they keep a pipe and the underground also, they will dug one tank. They constructs one tank underground also. They dug one tank underground and they, they keep that tap or tube into that ground, into that uh, uh, 
place into that pit so in that way they keep that water stored and that water we can use it for um, irrigation and use it for drinking water also you know in cities also if you see in hyderabad and all for early morning when the municipality people opens the tap and uh, these uh, um, they will keep one uh, uh, tank also in that tank also they will fill the water and they will store that water right did you see in the hyderabad and all if you go you will see that in that way these rain water falling on the roofs of building and on the ground is allowed to flow into the deep hole dug in the ground and when it goes into the deep dug hole and it acts already in the ground some water is there we have water underground water so it mixes in the underground water like that if uh, with the help of uh, this pumps if we on the switch on the electricity or the switch they will come up with through the pipes and uh, in that way this tap water is also very very precious for us we should not waste this water okay now so in that way this whole lesson we have completed children india its water resources up to here we have completed three lessons 20 videos three lessons are there if you want to watch this video the whole lesson you will get in the 20th video of india and it water resources children you do watch and like and share thank you